Hi everyone, in my previous video I derived an expression for the eastward deflection of a dropped particle on Earth due to the Coriolis force, and what I want to do in this video is put some actual numbers into the equation that we derived and see how high up do you have to go before this effect actually becomes measurable or, or significant. Um, now as a reminder, the expression that we got last time uh, is the one written down here. So here d is the eastward deflection, h is the height that you drop the particle from, g is the gravitational acceleration, omega is the angular speed uh, of the Earth's rotation, and lambda is the latitude of the point where you're doing this experiment. And because we're interested in how high you have to go up before this effect becomes significant, um, let's rearrange this equation and just make h the subject, right? And so what we can do is say 3d over omega cos lambda. Uh, if we have that and then we square that whole thing, that is going to be 8h cubed over g. And so we can say that h is going to be, um, well, we do g over 8, multiply that by 3d over omega cos lambda all squared, and then all of that stuff is raised to the one third power. So what numbers should we actually put into that expression? Well, let's say um, you're aiming to get a deflection of 10 centimeters, which is pretty small. How high up would you have to go to get a deflection of 10, 10, 10 centimeters? So we want to find out, we want, well, we need to know what omega is and what lambda is. So let's deal with omega first. The Earth rotates around on its axis uh, once per day, right? So the angular speed is going to be 2 pi radians per day, because there are 2 pi radians in a full revolution. And so if we want to convert this to radians per second, what we'd have to do is divide by, well, there are 24 hours in a day, and 60 minutes in an hour, and 60 seconds in a minute. So we divide by 24 times 60 times 60. Um, that is going to be in radians per second. And that comes out to be a very small number, 7.3 times 10 to the minus 5 radians per second, roughly speaking. Uh, all right. And then what about lambda? Well, of course, that just depends on where you do this experiment. Um, so let's just take take a value, I'm going to take lambda to be 51.5 degrees, that's the latitude of London where I am, um, and if we put this omega and lambda into this equation, along with d is around 10 centimeters or 0 0.1 meters, we find that h comes out to be around 380 meters, all right, and so if you want to see even a modest deflection of just 10 centimeters, you have to go uh, to the top of a tower which is 380 meters tall, and so that gives you an, an idea of, um, well, how kind of insignificant this effect is uh, on, on everyday scales.